lovelies, welcome back. Today we are going to flip through August in my A6 Stalgy. I know I haven't even filmed the setup video of it. I'm sorry, it's coming. I just filmed a, a video of my system for you. So the next, next thing in line after this flip is the A6 Stalgy setup. But today I'm just going to show you what it's been like in August for me and um, what I've done in this little book um, that I love a lot. So right now I'm in a Hobonichi cover. I think this was, this is a Mina Perhonen one from a few years ago. Can't remember the year really, but it's beautiful. And I love the texture of the cover. I love the colors of it. Apparently it's getting dirty already. Uh, I know I could put a cover on cover on it, but I love the feel of it so, so much. And it's a fairly dark colored one that I don't care. I keep it like this. The pen is a Uni 1P. Uh, uni Ball 1P. Um, these were all the rage at some point. So many of us have these. Um, and it's the green one. Cannot remember the name of that one either, but um, I love the color. And I actually think that the color goes really well with this picture here on the inside. So I am not a huge pocket fan and pocket girl, meaning I don't really, I don't really care about pockets that much. And I actually usually skip that <laughs> when I'm watching other people's videos. So really quickly, I have a card here, Cida V from I think Cloth and Paper from way back. I have this little cow that I absolutely adore and I don't know, I've been loving cows lately. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co, the little mushroom. This is from um, Planning with Aloe. And then behind it, I have a little card from Sterling Inc that came with a subscription box. And then I have just have some like, how do you call these? Post marks to send stuff. Um, I have a bookmark of my dog that I made a few days ago in this pocket and a stencil from Ali Brown. Unfortunately, she, I don't think she does make these anymore. I don't, she closed the shop at some point. I don't think she has reopened, unfortunately. And then on the back, well, I'll show you that later. We'll get there. So yeah, this is an A6 LG. It's a half year one, so it's not as bulky. That's how I like them. And um, this card I got as a thank you card from my Indico when I ordered from them. <clears throat> and I absolutely, I love it. I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. It's probably going to be here the whole fall, autumn period. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to say about it. Let's go straight into the monthly. So this is August. August was a funny month because my kids went back to school and daycare here, but I was still just rolling around with my pain and not really doing much. So yeah, there's been a lot of me on the sofa. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you've missed it, I have a broken back. Quite literally, I am on a waiting list to get operated on. And right now my life is filled with pain and just laying on my side most of the time. And so, yeah, I'm seeing friends here. I have therapy appointments. We went to the fair, which was really fun. And um, yeah, that's basically it. There's some stuff like related to the kids, kids um, back to school things but that's it um this is the cover page it's a picture from pinterest that i printed out a year ago i think and i just i used it this eight was made with the ali brown stencil i have just a tiny calendar here on the upper corner and uh these are the main events my main goal tasks for the month and my top three priorities that's how I like it. I can see everything at once and it's easy for me to move stuff into the weeklies and dailies as needed. And then on the following few pages, I have my 
nutrition tracking on the left side of the page and then on the right side is just a page dedicated to my kids i write stuff related to their health or like their mental health or stuff that happened to them or for them basically any bigger things bigger information that i want to remember later on goes here and i actually used like this much of the page in just a few weeks so i think one page is is a good amount to have for each month and it's nice to have their own page for each month because then i don't know in the past i've had like one page for the whole like half year or something and i just i wasn't writing that much things um or I was writing in the dailies and then it was harder for me to find the information. So here it's all in one place. Uh, this is the first week where I was in this book. I moved into this just because, well, I'll go into detail when I film my setup video. But basically the B6 wasn't working for me anymore. And so I needed something smaller, more portable and to feel free of the past. So this is what <laughs> this is the book is. I moved into it on Wednesday, the 14th, but I did back plan Tuesday because it was our wedding anniversary. So yeah, this week um, was fairly chill. We had a wedding anniversary on Tuesday, had my nail appointment on Thursday, therapy on Friday. And yeah, that's that's it. I have my running task list here. My three main action steps for the week. Just a few notes about the following week. And um, this this is crazy. I'll show you when I turn the page. But we actually saw the Aurora Borealis in our backyard. Um, yeah, it happened between like Monday and Tuesday. So that night. And it was insane. As you can see, like we saw a lot of colors. We don't generally see them in the south of Finland, especially in the summer. Like we do see them in Lapland during the winter fairly often, but here in the south, it's very rare. So this was really, really cool. And I had to print out a picture in the weekly as well. Here is the back planned Tuesday. Again, like another picture of the phenomenon that I absolutely loved. Um, this is mostly journaling just because I wanted to remember this day in this book as well. We went shopping with my husband. He was pushing me around in this cart because I couldn't walk. And my wheelchair wasn't here yet. And then the cucumbers we've been growing in our garden are just popping and living their best life right now. So that was fun. And in the evening we ate nachos and watched a movie, if I remember correctly. Or a series. Umbrella Academy, maybe. Yeah, on Wednesday, I had a very painful day. I cried in the evening. It was not great. I used my day to set up this little book, or like half of it. Uh, it was fun. My husband and dog went to just find mushrooms <laughs> in the forest. <coughs> Here I have a list of stuff my daughter needs in her daycare. And I have a little tab to find it easier with a little bunny on it. And then on Thursday, again, lots of pain. Finished my setup. Um, yeah, I had a horrible headache. So I had to take some medication. And I have a few lists for my sister and for Ikea. Friday, I was home the whole day. Um, just planning on going to the fair. Running to-do list. Um, and I was processing my back thing. So basically I've been trying to lose weight for a long time and I've had trouble working out and I've had especially trouble, like, I don't know, my body wasn't resting enough. And I, I felt like no matter how much I rest between workouts, it was never the right amount. And I've just, I've been processing how that's probably due to my back injury that I've had for 20 years without knowing. So lots of feelings uh, during that week. My orders, I know, 
I have a shopping problem right now. Saturday, we cleaned the house a little bit. I had a migraine in the evening, which was horrible. And apparently I slept really poorly because I was in so much pain, I kept waking up. So not the greatest day, like pain-wise this week, absolutely sucked. Uh, and I'll be writing about that clearly. On Sunday, I just got some stuff done. My brother came to pick up his dog that we were taking care of for a week. Um, and yeah, again, I was in a lot of pain. There's my daughter and our neighbor's girl playing together. <clears throat> so that was fun. And here is a picture of the first letter my son has ever written. He has pen pals nowadays, so it's, it's fun. I had to obviously cover up the address for you guys. We are working on our summer kitchen. So my husband drew plans. Um, he's an engineer, it, it shows <laughs> in these drawings. He has, yeah, he drew plans and I just have a running to-do list related to that. This is um, something my daughter drew me and she wanted me to put it in my planner, so I did. It's us, apparently, and I have to say, I do love the little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> on each hand and then I have a running Ikea list because at some point I'm gonna go to Ikea still haven't done it um but I'm writing down things that I need to buy from there this is from Sterling Inc okay the second week in this little book um there was a lot more stuff going on on this one so I had my massage on Monday helped a lot by the way so it was great Saw my best friend on Tuesday, and Tuesday evening I went to a parent-teacher thing for my daughter. On Wednesday, my cat turned nine. On Thursday, I had therapy, um, and I was taking care of the kids alone because my husband had to work on our old house that we finally managed to sell. And then I got sick um, during the weekend, which was the weekend where we were supposed to go I celebrate my mom and my mom's 60th birthday. I canceled that. Still went to the fair though because it was outside. I was sitting in my wheelchair all the time, didn't touch anything, wasn't even breathing towards other people. So I felt like this is fairly safe for everyone involved. And my kids would be so disappointed if we missed the fair. So we did go. And we had an awesome day. I was very sick on Sunday, just due to the exertion probably. But it was totally worth it. Running to-do list, some notes. That's pretty much it. Okay, this I actually made in my B6 strategy originally, and I, I love it so much I had to redo it in this book. So there's a lot of stuff I cannot do at the moment because my mobility sucks um, due to the pain. I'm not able to do much and I, it helps me to write down all the things I want to do, but I'm not able to. So there's a lot of different stuff. There's uh, walks with my dog, riding a horse, playing with kids in the backyard, or like playing with kids, period. It's difficult for me to even do that indoors. Nowadays, um, archery, playing basketball with my son, dancing. I, I miss dancing so much, like even just dancing in the privacy of my own home. Um, I can't move my body that way, so I miss it. Long planning sessions, not able to do that either because I'm not able to sit for a long period of time. Long, um, like, get ready with me sessions, makeup sessions, again, same problem, can't stand, can't sit down for a long period of time. And then I put <laughs> cleaning. Um, like, you know the feeling when you get kind of just, you look at the house and you're like, oh, I really want to clean this. And you do that for three to four hours and you feel so freaking good and accomplished afterwards. I missed that. So I wrote it down. And then on the right side, I wrote down a quote from Céline Dion. So um, there was, there's a documentary that's made of her and her illness. And um, at one point, the interviewer asks her, what will happen? Will you ever sing again? And she says, oh, I will sing. And I just love how freaking confident she is. And she did 
end up singing at the Olympics in Paris in the opening ceremony. And I think it's so freaking amazing. That woman has gone, gone through so much shit in her life. Um, yeah, I really wanted to have this, like that spirit and that quote here. And I do look at it sometimes and it gives me strength. Monday, was spending a lot of time with my dog. I had the massage. Um, it, I had a hard day and I started watching Yellowstone, which I absolutely love. Just run and watch that series. And then I was watching a video, uh, or like videos from Sterling Inc. And just wrote down notes. Unfortunately, there was not much that I like that would work for me. But yeah, Catherine has done an amazing job coming up with all those options. Tuesday was my friend and the parent teacher conference evening stuff. Um, not much else happening. I started to plan my daughter's birthday party, which was on the 1st of September. On Wednesday, I went to pick up a wheelchair from um, the health center that we have in my town. Um, because I have ordered a wheelchair, I've done that. It hasn't arrived. At that point, it hadn't arrived yet. It'd been weeks since I ordered it. I was so mad. And I was not able to go anywhere or do anything because I can't walk for more than like 100 meters at once. So I went to pick up the wheelchair and I drew it. I love the fact that I actually drew it instead of taking a picture of it. And I would like to do doodle more in my planners. And my wedding anniversary gift finally came, uh, which is an iPad Air M2. I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. It's difficult for me to use my computers because I cannot always sit, but the iPad is easy to use in any and every position. So it's it's been a huge help, really. I love my husband for having that idea. Uh, then I just have like a running list of stuff I could do with my dog. I'm not able to walk her anymore. My husband does that, but I would like to do stuff with her. So I'm trying to come up with ways to spend time with her. On Thursday, not much happening. I have therapy, so I'm writing a bit about that. But otherwise, not, not much to say. Friday, I got sick. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and my parents moved on Friday as well. They moved very close to us, which was cool. Couldn't help them at all because I was sick, which sucked. Saturday was the fair day. We had so much fun. So much fun. So I just um, journaled about that and was in my wheelchair, which... <laughs> okay. Picked up the wheelchair from the health center. Mine arrived on Thursday. I'm not even kidding. It arrived a day after. So this is me sitting in it. And then on Sunday, well, I just, I was sick. I was at home. Took a cool picture of my cat. And uh, I was planning some clothes. But there's, there's this uh, company called Linen Girls. And they make clothes from linen, obviously. And they're amazing. And uh, it's made to your measurements. So I was just planning on what to get. And then I started um, working on Arebap, on the different courses that I could take and figuring out if I could do them remotely because there's no way I can actually go to university many times a week. Um, so I started fighting for my rights at that point. Then we have the last week of August. This was my daughter's birthday party week. So um, she wanted a horse themed party and as colors, I picked different browns and like craft base stuff and then mint and pink. So that's the colors I used in this. This is print on stickers. Um, this is an old freebie. This is from randy.plans, I think. And I didn't have any horse stickers that I liked, so like any horse stickers at all, I think. So I actually ended up finding this picture from Pinterest, printing it with my Polaroid high print. And then I cut it out to have this shape. And it worked out perfectly. I really, really like it. 
I had a migraine on Monday and Tuesday. Actually, I didn't go through the week with you guys. But there was not much. I was sick until like Tuesday evening. Then I felt a lot better. So my friend on Wednesday, our house was sold on Wednesday. And I saw my mom on Wednesday. And then I had a parent teacher evening at my son's school. We went with my husband. And then, yeah, then I was just like planning the party on on Sunday. That's pretty much it. And again, like running to-do lists, main stuff, main goals, stuff for next week, and then notes. And I had to fight with um, some university professors to be able to participate to a course that I think I should be able to participate in. I think it's my right. Um, still fighting with them. It's so much fun. It's, yeah, I, I don't have the words. Uh, yeah. So on Monday, I did do some stuff, but I had a huge migraine, so it wasn't great. Same thing on Tuesday. Um, didn't have to take meds, though, but I still clearly had like the end, end of the migraine going on. Here's my Hobonichi list. So stuff I ordered from Hobonichi. Just got an email that they sent them, so yay! Can't wait. Um... Some YouTube video ideas. Then, yeah, on Wednesday, our old house was sold. So I did journal about that a little bit and took a final picture of it. Bye-bye, house. Here's just um, a shopping list for Friday. My dear friend went with me to shop for the party and pushed me in a wheelchair the whole time we're shopping. My God. The amount of stuff we've been through as well is insane, like seven years of friendship. Um, yeah, on Thursday, my dog was being super fucking cute. So here's a picture of her. And then my husband surprised me by taking me, my dog and my daughter on a walk. Um, so here I am in my wheelchair and he's pushing me and we, it was awesome. I, I miss walking. It's one of my favorite things to do and I just miss it so much so this meant a lot to me on friday i actually went on a walk again just me and my husband and the dog <laughs> so without the kid it was really nice i was trying to get some stuff done and we went shopping with my friend for all the things needed <clears throat> and then on um saturday i was cleaning i was prepping i was buying the last things we need um as you can see i was pretty productive And yeah, this is just notes for the clothes. And then it's September and we're not there yet. Okay, so that's, that was August. Um, and by the way, like in the back, I just have stickers basically. And this Hobonichi bookmark that I use to mark the day I'm on. Whew, 24 minutes, guys. But this, this was August. It was a hard month, but we um, moving. We are moving forward. I have a doctor's appointment next week, and then I will find out uh, what's going to happen next and what the schedule is approximately and stuff like that. So hopefully this will get easier a tiny bit in the next month. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll be back with more stuff later. Bye.